Hey guys, Baltrox Pretzel here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I don't really know what to call this type of video, or rather, um, this type of series, but essentially I'm going to be introducing you to this family here, and it won't be a let's play. Um, I There will be checkups with the family, like I'll be playing without recording. There'll be checkups, they'll know what's going on in their lives, and you'll see their house evolve as they do. So what I'll be recording a lot of will be um, speed builds and speed renovations. And in that, I'll also give you guys a quick glimpse into their lives. So we'll have like five minute let's plays before or after the building. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is Neil Brick. Um, he has the uh, Master Chef aspiration. He's also active, a foodie, and a perfectionist. Um, so this is his everyday outfit. I'm just going to quickly go through his clothes. His formal. His athletic. His sleepwear. Party wear. And his swimwear. Um, so that's Neil Brick. And then his wife, Jade Stone. There we go. She has the painter extraordinaire um, aspiration. She's an art lover, she's creative, and she's a vegetarian, which I can only assume for a foodie will be interesting to, you know, cook for since, you know, a lot of cooking, there's, obviously there's vegetarian cooking, which is very big, but there's also so many things you can do with food, uh, with meats and experiments, so that'll be, you know, interesting and for their relationship. Anyways, um, take a look at her outfits very quickly. That's her every day. Here's her formal. Um, I, I'm not even a huge fan of this dress, but I picked it because I just had like the sort of fairy tale feel from it. And I'm like, you know what? It works for her. I'm going to keep that there. Um, this is her athletic, her sleepwear, whoops, her party wear, and her uh, swimwear. Um, yeah, so for this one, we're just gonna go in. We're gonna build them their own starter house, and it's gonna the series is gonna be called Brick by Brick. Um, essentially, all of their houses are gonna be brick on the outside. You know, maybe a little bit of stone in there as well. Um, and yeah, that'll that'll be it for the this video, the speed builds, and then you know I'll play, and then if when they have a promotion or they have a lot of money, we'll do a renovation and, you know, you guys will see that. You'll be there to experience that renovation, the evolving of their house, which represents the invol the how their lives are evolving. And, you know, if, if ever um, Jade gets pregnant, you know, you guys, I'll probably try to record the last trimester of her pregnancy and you guys will be introduced to the chat like to the baby the brand new baby and you'll be there as we speed build a nursery for him or her and yeah anyways that's the idea behind this series um so let's get into the speed build so here we go starting the speed build i spend most of the time sort of trying to get a um a shape for the house going I really was not happy with it I wanted it to be a two-story starter I didn't want it to be a flat one story um, but obviously I couldn't make it too big because I had to furnish it and, and paint the walls and tile the floors which can cost a lot of money um, if you're not careful so I was trying to find a way to do a two-story that wasn't too big um, but that also didn't look really really awkward um, so I'm just sort of like playing around with the roofing and where to put everything, just trying to get a decent look for the house. Um, this isn't too far off from for what I settled for, but anyways, you guys will see. Oh yeah, this this was an interesting um, trial on my on my on my part. I, as you can see, I gave up on that pretty quickly. I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, the big cube not happening either. Just, I was, it was a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I think this is when I start to figure it out more or less. Um, yeah, make it a little bit bigger on the sides. Yeah, there we go. I think we're getting to the 
actual look of it. I do expand it a little bit because the upstairs ends up being the bedroom and right now it's three by whatever. Um, yeah. Anyways, okay, so this was built on a 15 by 20 lot and uh, if I remember correctly, this lot, uh, this was 20,000, oh god, what was it? <laughs> It was in the high, it was almost a 21,000. I can't exactly remember. I, did I write it down? I did not write it down. Huh. Alright, I've been writing, I've been so good at writing everything down. And I completely forgot for this video and I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's a starter house. It works with your two sims. If you start off with $22,000, you can easily afford this house. Um, yeah. So, there we go. I... I'm just trying to figure out the layout. I'm like, hey, well, the bedroom won't work at the top. It's too small. But I hated the idea of putting it on the ground floor. The layout just really wouldn't have worked. So I just expanded by, uh, I think, two tiles. I think I expanded it by two tiles. Um, and I ended up not centering the stairs from the back porch. And I actually really like how it came out uh, when it wasn't centered. I actually really prefer that. Um, so when I was building this, well, when I was furnishing it, I sort of forgot... Um, what I wanted their careers to be and I forgot a couple of details like I forgot to put an easel for her um, for Jade so I mean I played with I played with this family already a little bit and as soon as I got the money I um, you know I, I got her an easel um, and for Neil he uh, you know he has the food aspiration so cooking is not an issue um, but I end up putting a punching bag there for him because he's an active guy um but I, I put him in the astronaut um career path so I didn't realize I needed a chess table and I had to buy that as I was playing as well so there are a couple of items that I have purchased off screen um as they've made money but it's not they weren't big enough items to there wasn't a point to wait for them to have enough money to do a huge renovation to add those little bits of items. It's just useful things for their for their lives. Um, yeah. I realize I spent a lot of money on mirrors. Like, money I could have spent on, well, on easels or chess tables. Um, whoops, my bad. <laughs> it, it did look really good, though. So, you know, I'm happy with it. Um... Yeah, just trying to pick everything out. I think I actually think I did a decent job with the furnishing and um, the decorating somewhat, given the budget. Uh, I do put a couple plants here and there. I mean, it's not as sparse as I expected it to be. Um, as I was playing, I realized that the tub is you actually can't use it. Um, I have not yet toyed with the idea of turn like of um just turning the tub around and putting it where the uh toilet is and then putting the toilet in the little corner where the second half of the tub is um I haven't tried that I don't know if that would work but you know they have a, sh a working shower that's enough for them um so I will definitely have the tub working by the time we do a renovation well after the renovation I mean um yeah once again <laughs> the tub more money I could have saved and spent elsewhere um, but I, I like the look of having a tub and a shower and a bathroom, so I just kind of went with it, kept it there. Um, yeah, so there you go, you got your comfy living room seating, a nice TV, got in a nice little dining room table. Um, I was originally, originally moved it there and I, as you'll see, I'll, I end up moving it because I end up putting a yoga mat there, um, you know, so they can bring up their wellness skill. I just, it's, it's one of those items I just love having in the house um, when I build, so yeah. But yeah, I put a couple plants there, I have the boxing bag, the punching bag, there you go, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, and I do actually put some landscaping in there, like I was able to sneak some in, save some money for that. And I did not buy an outside garbage because there's one on the curb right in front of their house, so yeah. Um, so I end up sneaking the, uh, easel up in the bedroom next to the, uh, 
dresser and the chess table under the trees. Anyways, here are the screenshots. The house and the family will be available for download on the gallery. Link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part two. Bye guys.